Hello everyone, you are welcome to Mesh Explorer. How to solve this nice algebra map problem, which is b times b times b minus b times b is equal to 18. So here we will try to find out the value of b in this problem. So look at to the left hand side, here b is multiplied 3 times having power 1. So here we will write the b one time and we will add the power. So this will become b raised to power. Adding 1 3 times this will become b cube minus this will become b square and here we will move this 18 to the left hand side so it will become negative 18 is equal to 0 so next we can write this 18 as b cube minus b square minus 18 can be written as 27 minus 9 is equal to 0 and here we multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis so this will become implies b cube minus b square this will become minus 27 and this will become plus 9 is equal to 0 now here we will change these two numbers to its exponential form so therefore we can write 27 and 9 as b cube minus b square minus 27 can be written as 3 cube plus 9 can be written as 3 square is equal to 0. Here we will combine the cubic terms and the squaring terms. So this will become implies b cube minus 3 cube minus b square plus 3 square is equal to 0. Now let us close these two terms and these two terms in parentheses. So this will become b cube minus 3 cube from here we will take the negative sign comma so this will become b square and this will become negative 3 square is equal to 0 now here in these two terms inside the parenthesis we will use two different algebraic identities here we will use a cube minus b cube algebraic identity and here we will use a square minus b square algebraic identity so here we will use these two identities here we will use this one cubic identity we know that we can write a cube minus b cube is a minus b times a square plus a times b plus b square and here we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square which is equal to a minus b times a plus b so using these two identities this equation will become here we will use this one first identity in this one term so this will become here a is b and b is 3 so this will become b minus 3 times b square plus 3b plus 3 square minus and using this one identity here this will become b minus 3 times b plus 3 is equal to 0. So might just took it to this one equation here in the left hand side b minus 3 is common in both the terms in both the expressions so we will take out common from both the terms so this will become let's take out b minus 3 common so here only this one equation is left b square plus 3b plus 3 square is 9 and here is negative sign and here only b plus 3 is left is equal to 0 now here we will multiply this negative sign inside the parenthesis so this will become b minus 3 times b square plus 3b plus 9 this will become minus b and this will become minus 3 is equal to 0. So let's further simplify this expression. So this will become b minus 3 times b square plus 3b minus b is simply 2b and plus 9 minus 3 is simply plus 6 is equal to 0. Now here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. 
So from here we will get two equations, one linear equation and one quadratic equation. So our first equation is b minus 3 is equal to 0. Or our second equation is b square plus 2b plus 6 is equal to 0. Now first we will solve this one linear equation. So here we will move this negative 3 to the right hand side. So it will become positive 3. And the value of b will become 3. So b is equal to positive 3 is our first real solution. So let us suppose this is our b1. Now we will solve this one quadratic equation for the other two solutions of b. Now here we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization method or by completing square. So here we will use the quadratic formula to find out the roots of this quadratic equation. Now to use the quadratic formula, first we will write the values of a, b and c. So here the value of a is 1, the value of b is 2 and the value of c is 6. Now the quadratic formula is b is equal to negative b plus minus so root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let us substitute the values of a, b, c from here. So this right hand side will become b is equal to negative b. Now the value of b is 2 plus minus b square b is 2 square minus 4ac. a is 1 and c is 6 divided by 2a. a is 1. So further this will become negative b plus minus here 2 square is simply 4 minus and here this is 4 times 1 is 4 times 6 divided by 2 times 1 is 2. Now from here we will take 4 common inside the square root. So this will become negative 2 plus minus this will become square root of taking 4 common. So this will become 1 minus 6 divided by 2. So next we can write this as negative 2 plus minus square root of this is 4 times 1 minus 6 you'll say minus 5 but we can write minus 5 as 5 times negative 1 divided by 2. So next we will split this square root over 4, 5 and negative 1. So this will become minus 2 plus minus and this will become square root of 4 the square root of 4 is simply 2 and this will become square root of 5 and this will become square root of negative 1 now we know that square root of negative 1 is a complex identity i so we will replace this with i divided by 2 so further we can write this right hand side as minus 2 divided by 2 plus minus 2 times square root of 5 i divided by 2. So here we will cancel this 2 with this 2 and this 2 with this 2. So this will become b is equal to here negative 1 is left plus minus and here square root of 5 i are left. So here we have two complex solution of b, complex values of b. Now these values of b are, let us suppose our b2 is minus 1 plus square root of 5 i so this is our second solution b2 and our third solution is b3 is equal to negative 1 negative square root of 5 i so this is our third solution which is a complex solution so finally we have three possible solutions in this problem one is real b1 is equal to 3 and two are complex